Gemini. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your love reading from October 8th through October 15th. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If it resonates, let me know in the comments. If it doesn't, check your other signs or check out one of the other awesome readers. Um, and just a reminder, just because I may resonate with you one week doesn't mean I will every week. So maybe last week's was for you. This week's isn't going to be. Um, so just keep that in mind. All right. So today is October 4th. Um, so whenever, um, during the time of this reading, it's going to be Venus retrograde. Might be some past energy coming back. Just keep that in mind. Oh, awesome reading so far, guys. Um, so, for your overall energy, you have the High Priestess Reverse. So, this isn't good, but the rest of your reading is. So, don't worry too much about it. This basically is just telling you to follow your intuition. Don't ignore it, okay? Whatever your intuition is telling you, pay attention to it. Don't neglect that, all right? Your recent past is the Four of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Could be dealing with one, don't have to be, but this is basically the energy of holding back. Um, whether it's holding back from saying how you feel or expressing yourself or whatever, it's just, it's you holding back, right? Or the other person, it could go both ways. Now your present energy is the Nine of Pentacles. Now this is a really good card, um, but it is my single lady card. So maybe you guys are single right now. I don't know. Um, either way, this is a very good card for stability, abundance, fertility, all that good stuff. She has everything that she needs, but she got it by herself, okay? Now your immediate future you have the Seven of Cups, Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, the Seven of Cups is like having a bunch of options or it's like a fantasy card, a little bit delusional, so maybe confused. Just make sure that you are living in the real world <laughs> and bringing all these ideas that you might have up in your head down to the material world and not keeping them all stuck in your head. Otherwise, and it's really dark in here. I wish you guys could see this better. Um, it's a really pretty card. But it could just mean that you have multiple options. And if you're single, like single lady card, then in the near future you're going to have a lot of options. Okay? If you are not single, then it just it's just a reminder to pay attention to reality. Don't get caught up in your head. Don't get caught up in fantasy. All right? But your outcome, guys, check this shit out. You have the sun. Yay! Um, all right, the sun is ultimate happiness. It's the best card in the deck. It is clarity. Everything's out in the open. You can see everything clearly. Everybody's happy. Everybody's good to go. This is where you want to be for an outcome. So awesome. Awesome, guys. All right. Let's clarify your High Priestess Reverse. Why are you not following your intuition, guys? What's up? Maybe you're just getting caught up in daily life and forget about it. It happens. Or maybe you know that something's not right and you're not following your intuition about it. Uh, you think your intuition's wrong? Something like that? Either way, just listen to it. It's not ever wrong. Okay, okay. So, it's clarified by the Seven of Swords. This is your energy as well as Libra and Aquarius. This is the deception card, guys. Um, it's lying, cheating, stealing. It um, doesn't, ha doesn't have to be like stealing something physical from you. It could just be, you know... Someone's taken up your energy, taken up your time. You're not getting anything in return. Um, it's a deception card. So 
you have this right here, High Priestess Reverse. So you might have an idea that this is happening, but you're not listening to your intuition on it. So I'm telling you, if this reading's for you and you feel like there might be something deceptive going on with somebody in your life, there is, and you need to listen to your gut, all right? Okay, that's your overall though. Um, whatever it is, you obviously get it straightened out because your outcome's a sun. So let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles for you in the present. Okay. Nine of Pentacles is clarified by the Ace of Wands. This is awesome. It's a brand new beginning. It's a passionate new beginning. It's fire energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius could have a new beginning with one of, with one of those signs. You don't have to, um, but it's it's super passionate and it comes really fast. Okay, so either you become single and then you have this brand new passionate beginning with someone else, or you get whatever this deceptive energy is straightened out and it's a new beginning with someone you're already with. But either way, new beginning, okay? With lots of abundance, lots of fertility. And you know what? <laughs> this is something that I have to point out. It might resonate for someone out there. Okay, so the Ace of Wands is very sexual energy. I don't know how else to say it. Um, that's what the wand in the picture is. <laughs> so the ace or yeah, the ace of wands with the nine of pentacles could absolutely mean pregnancy. Um, so if you are pregnant, congratulations. If you don't want to be pregnant, you should probably be careful. All right, if you're trying to get pregnant, this is definitely a good sign. Okay. Clarify the Seven of Cups for a Gemini's future. Clarify the Seven of Cups for Gemini's future. Okay. You got the Queen of Pentacles, another great card. The Queen of Pentacles is also a very maternal card. Um, so again, there could be a pregnancy. The Queen of Pentacles is very motherly. Um, she's stable, she has everything that she needs. She's, um, she's focused on her home, her home life. She can provide for her family, you know, Financially, emotionally, all that good stuff. She's grounded, right? Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I don't know if I said that already. Now let's clarify the sun for you. The sun can also be um, pertaining to a birth. So whoever this resonates with, I, there's, there's a lot here to indicate a pregnancy or a child being born. So keep that in mind. All right, clarify the sun for Gemini and the outcome. Huh, okay. So it's clarified by the seven of pentacles. This is um, like working towards something, right? It's investment, it's putting in work, seeing the results from the work that you put in, okay? Um, and that's with the sun. So you have a lot of, let's see, one, two, three, four pentacles cards here. So a lot of earth energy. You could definitely be dealing with an earth sign or um, this is just a lot having to do with your home life. Um, maybe the person that you're dealing with, you know, through work, you met at your job. Could be, doesn't have to be. Um, just a whole lot of earth energy here. All right, so let's get your advice cards. Oh, on my lap, hold on. Okay, one, another one for you. I have some advice for Gemini, October 2020. 
October 8th through October 15th in love. Gemini in love. October 8th through October 15th. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Shoot, there goes all my cards. All right. So first of all, you have the Queen of Swords. Okay, you now have two queens in the deck, so that's pretty damn cool. The Queen of Swords is very head over heart. Um, she uses logic to make her decision. She's very honest. She cuts through to the truth of every situation. Um, and it seems to me that you have this up here in your overall, this deceptive energy and the lack of intuition. You know, you're not following your intuition. Your advice is to be this Queen of Swords, right? You cut through to the truth. Um, cut out whatever needs to be cut out. Anything that isn't truth. Get it the fuck out of your life, all right? Um, because everything else here is awesome. It's just this overall. And I don't know if that's your energy or the other person, but um, once you get rid of that shit, whatever the deception is, you're, you're good to go. Um, you don't have anything to worry about. So be this queen of swords. Cut out what needs to be cut out. Use your head, right? Pay attention to facts. Um, the Queen of Swords <clears throat> doesn't base her, decision, her decisions on emotion, okay? So make sure when you're doing whatever it is that you need to do, cutting out whatever, whoever needs cut out, you're just, um, how do I want to say it? You know how you're with somebody and you love that person and they're doing some shady shit, but you're too emotional about it you can't cut them off you can't do anything about it because you just love them so much and you're just gonna put up with it right the queen of swords as your advice she doesn't put up with anybody's shit at all okay she can have a very sharp tongue she can just be like fuck you get out of my life you're a liar you have to go all right that's your advice you have to take on that energy to get out what needs what needs to go so that you can get to this sun energy <clears throat> because it's awesome and your next advice card is the knight of cups water energy cancer scorpio pisces um this is a love offer so either someone is coming towards you with an offer of love or you are going towards somebody offering your cup of love either way it is genuine this is a genuine offer Knights are young energy, so um, they don't, you know, put a lot of thought into it before acting, but it is action towards love, and it's it's new, so it might be that you go through some shit with the person that you're with, and then you start over, you know, with this Ace of Wands, new passionate beginning, you start over with that person, honestly, right? Or... You could just cut that person out completely and you have this new beginning with someone else and it's legit with this Knight of Cups. Like that's a genuine offer, right guys? All right, so looks like a pretty good week for you as long as you get rid of whatever that deceptive energy is and pay attention to your intuition, okay? All right, talk to you later, Gemini.